While I was watching Tomodachi game for the first time, there was only one character that really caught my eye. It was Yuichi, of course. His character development happened really quick, and it honestly surprised me. Yuichi is a very well-written character, and people should talk more about him. That's why I decided to talk about him in today's video. Let's analyze his character together. But before we start, please like this video, and subscribe for more amazing anime content. Let's dive in. Who is Yuichi? He is a poor student who lives alone and works part-time to make a living. He values his friends more than anything else, following his mother's advice that friends are more important than money. At the beginning of the story, Yuichi appears to be a diligent and happy student, but as we dive deeper into the story, we learn more about his true nature. He becomes more serious, but more importantly, he begins to show a much more sinister side of his character. He shows little remorse for any of his more devious actions, and appears sadistic at points when he takes pleasure in the misfortunes of his enemies. His past is currently a mystery, but from what we know, he didn't get to enjoy his childhood. He was adopted and raised by his mother, who had to sell her body to make money, which is a very traumatic for Yuichi. He also had a father figure, in the form of a swindler named Taizen, who taught him various psychoanalytic techniques and mentalist tricks. Though he uses these to great effect throughout the series, he does not respect Taizen in his memories. We also know that Yuichi is a serial killer. He killed at least three people, and it is confirmed that one of them is none other than previously mentioned Taizen, his so-called father figure, that he admired his whole childhood. From the facts that were stated so far, it is clear that Yuichi is nothing less than crazy. At some point after he killed Taizen, he rejoined the normal world and began attending school while making paper flowers to support his living expenses. After entering high school, he eventually became friends with Shibi, Tenji, Shiho, and Kokorogi. These were his only and best friends. He enjoyed spending time with his friends. He valued them more than anything, even money. Everything was going well. He was working hard so he could afford to go on a school trip with his friends. He eventually managed to save enough money. But then something tragic happened. Saved school trip funds were stolen by someone. Everyone suddenly started to suspect each other, and many bonds were broken. But still, Yuichi believed in his friends, not even doubting them for a second. He went home, and later in the day, he gets a letter addressed from Shiho, asking him to meet her at the school gates at a certain time. He arrives late, and sees all his friends gathered, and he asks them why they are there. They are all confused, and say he was the one who invited them. He takes their letters and becomes worried. But before he can do anything, he is hit from behind, and sees his friends dragged away. He wakes up in a blank room, with his friends. They are all confused what had happened, but then a cartoon character comes out and greets them. Yutori notes he is Manabu, a character who is known to steal from his friends from a children's cartoon show. Makoto tells them one of their friends has 20 million yen worth of debt, and if they choose to leave the 2 million yen entrance fee paid would not be returned, so the person would keep the debt. Yuichi is about to ask who did this, when Shiho comments that since they're friends, there's no reason to ask or doubt, and everyone ends up agreeing to play the game. This is a breaking point for the plot of this anime. From now on, everything goes downhill, in terms of their friendship, and Yuichi finally begins to show his true nature. Now let's go through his abilities for a bit. Yuichi possesses remarkable intelligence, possibly ranking as one of the most, if not the most, intelligent characters in the story. Yuichi's true strength lies in his exceptional ability to manipulate people and devise intricate plots centered around these manipulations. His capacity to deceive his adversaries by allowing himself to be underestimated is truly extraordinary. While he may not possess the same level of technical knowledge as Tenji, Yuichi compensates with practical knowledge and a profound understanding of the clandestine underworld. His intricate schemes and machinations often go unnoticed until he deliberately unveils them as part of a larger, grander plan. In essence, Yuichi's intelligence goes beyond academic achievements or technical expertise. His practical knowledge, understanding of human nature, and astute observation skills enable him to navigate complex situations successfully. By underestimating him, his adversaries fall into his well-crafted traps, unaware of the depths of his cunning and strategic thinking. Yuichi's ability to manipulate and outwit his opponents, combined with his extensive practical knowledge, make him a formidable character in the series. While not a conventional skill, Yuichi's unwavering ruthlessness plays a crucial role in his consistent success throughout the series. 
He exhibits a remarkable lack of hesitation when it comes to using threats and following through on them to achieve his objectives. Consequently, numerous characters within the story have labeled Yuichi as evil, horrible, monster, and even devil. Yuichi's willingness to employ ruthless tactics, regardless of the moral implications, sets him apart from other characters. This unyielding determination to attain his goals, regardless of the consequences, demonstrates his unwavering commitment to his cause. It is through this unflinching approach that he gains an edge over his adversaries, instilling fear and apprehension in their hearts. It is important to note that while these descriptions may seem extreme, they serve as a testament to the impact of Yuichi's actions and the perception of his character by those who oppose him. His willingness to cross ethical boundaries, coupled with his ability to execute his threats, creates an aura of fear and intimidation that further enhances his position of power. Yuichi's athletic abilities, though brief in display, showcase decent skills in areas such as running and engaging in short physical altercations. However, what truly sets him apart is his astounding tolerance for pain. This remarkable attribute is prominently demonstrated during the weakling game, particularly in his confrontation with Kuroki. Despite enduring three punches, having three nails forcefully torn off, and having his hand stabbed entirely through with a knife, Yuichi manages to maintain his composure and stay focused on his plot to dismantle Kuroki. His ability to withstand such extreme physical trauma without showing any signs of pain or distress is truly awe-inspiring. This exceptional resilience becomes even more apparent when Yuichi breaks his own finger without uttering so much as a peep while cornering the captain of Group K in the hide-and-seek game. This act of self-inflicted injury, executed with unwavering determination, exemplifies his unwavering resolve and his willingness to endure immense pain for the sake of his objectives. Yuichi's capacity to endure and persevere through agonizing physical situations showcases his extraordinary mental fortitude and willpower. His ability to suppress pain and maintain focus allows him to navigate treacherous circumstances and execute his plans with precision. In conclusion, Yuichi possesses a multifaceted set of abilities that contribute to his remarkable success throughout the series. While not excelling academically, his intelligence surpasses expectations as he expertly manipulates others and orchestrates complex plots within the shadows. His practical knowledge and deep understanding of the underworld complement his strategic thinking. Moreover, his unwavering ruthlessness and capacity to endure immense pain further solidify his dominance. Yuichi's cunning, resilience, and tactical prowess make him a formidable character, capable of outmaneuvering his adversaries and achieving his objectives with calculated precision. By the way, his character development throughout the series is phenomenal. Let's talk more about this topic. Throughout the series, Tomodachi game, Yuichi Katakiri undergoes a compelling and profound journey of character development. Initially introduced as an intelligent and manipulative individual, Yuichi's skills in strategizing and plotting are prominent. However, as the story progresses, he embarks on a transformative path that shapes his outlook on trust, loyalty, and the consequences of his actions. As the challenges and trials of the friend game push Yuichi to his limits, he is forced to confront his own inner demons. The high stakes and intense pressure of the game serve as catalysts for his personal growth. With each twist and turn, Yuichi's character gradually evolves, revealing layers of complexity and emotional depth. One of the central aspects of Yuichi's character development is his journey towards understanding the value of genuine relationships. Previously focused on manipulation and strategic maneuvering, he begins to question the true nature of friendship and the importance of trust. As he forms connections with other participants in the game, he experiences firsthand the impact of loyalty and genuine camaraderie. These newfound relationships challenge his preconceived notions and lead him to question his previous methods of achieving his goals. Throughout his development, Yuichi faces difficult choices and is confronted with the consequences of his actions. The weight of his decisions, combined with the evolving dynamics of the friend game, gradually shapes his moral compass. He starts to reassess his priorities and the true meaning of success. This introspection prompts him to reevaluate his manipulative tendencies and seek a more authentic approach to navigating the challenges he faces. As Yuichi's character arc progresses, he begins to display empathy and compassion, qualities that were once overshadowed by his strategic brilliance. He becomes more attuned to the emotions of others 
and considers the impact of his choices on their well-being. This newfound sensitivity adds a layer of complexity to his character, showcasing his growth and a greater understanding of the human condition. By the culmination of the series, Yuichi emerges as a changed individual. The experiences he has undergone and the lessons he has learned throughout the friend game have shaped him into someone with a deeper appreciation for genuine connections and the importance of trust. His character development exemplifies the transformative power of personal growth and the potential for redemption even in the most challenging of circumstances. Going from a kind high school student who valued his friends the most to a menacing psycho doing anything to achieve his goals. At the very beginning, Yuichi was presented as a normal, but was he really good? Or was he evil from the beginning? To answer that question, we have to go back into his traumatic past. Yuichi's upbringing was complex, being raised by both Katagiri Yuka and Shiba Taizen. Yuka is depicted as a loving and caring mother figure who deeply cared for Yuichi as her own son. On the other hand, Tyson is portrayed as an evil man, possibly a con artist or involved in even darker activities. In earlier flashbacks, Yuichi referred to Tyson as his teacher, indicating a complex dynamic between them. Tyson claimed that Yuichi had surpassed him in deceitfulness and wickedness at a young age, a statement that is further supported when it is revealed in Chapter 100 that Yuichi is the creator of the Tomodachi game. Yeah, what you heard right now is true. This guy is unbelievable. This revelation sheds light on the deeply disturbed nature of Yuichi's character. In summary, Yuichi's character is shaped by his upbringing, with Yuka's care and Taisen's influence contributing to his complex nature. The revelation of Yuichi's role as the creator of the Tomodachi game showcases his deeply disturbed state of mind. His conversations with Kaidu shed light on his dualistic tendencies, his attraction to charm, and his internal conflict between pleasure and regret. Yuichi's character reflects a dark and intricate persona, heavily influenced by his upbringing and the choices he has made throughout the series. To conclude everything, I'll just say that Yuichi is simply not normal, one of the best manipulators I ever witnessed in anime world. That's all. I hope that you enjoyed this analysis. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more amazing anime content. You are watching Quiet Chronicles. Until next time, goodbye.